What's going on everybody? John B. here. And recently I took a trip to Panama City Beach, Florida. And uh, it's my first time being back in Panama City uh, since July 1999. So a little over 24 years. But um, I've been trying to find a place for a beach vacation that had a roll-in shower and also a bed that you can uh, get a Hoyer left up under. And uh, I ended up finding this place on the strip right on the beach called uh, Chateau Beachfront Resort. It's uh, by the Best Western. And uh, so I called down there, which I called several motels in many different beaches, trying to find one that was fully accessible. And uh, they uh, told me theirs was accessible, so I put the room and uh, they sent me some pictures of the shower to make sure and the bed to make sure it was uh, what I needed. And uh, so uh, I thank them for that. But uh, I'll take you in, let you uh, check out the room here. And uh, here we go. But um, as you can see, uh, I come in on the room on the sidewalk. It's uh, the wheelchair parking is right behind me. I come in. The sidewalk has a little bit of lean to it, which uh, I really didn't care too much for. But if you're in a push chair, it'd be a little bit more challenge. But uh, the doors right here. It's room three thirty seven. You go in. First thing you got is the rolling shower on the left. Uh, it's a good sized bathroom. And uh, to your right is a sink that you can roll up under. Uh, my knees kind of got close to the sink bottom, but I am pretty tall. But uh, I got up under there, was able to brush my teeth and stuff. But uh, as you can see, the hoard your left goes uh, right up under the bed, which is nice because that was my issue trying to find a motel that I can get the hoard your left up under. So uh, the room's kind of tight, but it was nice. It was a queen size bed. Uh, just, you know, one bed per room. You had your refrigerator, microwave, TV. Uh, coffee maker you had a alarm clock basically you just go out the door and as you can see we're on the the third floor which is ground level on the back side the parking lot side and uh you can see the beach you got a good view of the beach and um so yeah i'll take you down and show you what's how to get down to the pool and the little seating area but uh as you can see the sidewalk's got that lean to it which was uh you know it was fine in my power chair but I uh, figured a manual chair you give you a little bit more extra push on one side But the ramp here is uh, pretty steep. So if you are in a manual chair uh, Make sure you can hold on good to slow yourself down And uh, basically it's like going down a sound like a roller, roller coaster all the wood But uh, also at the very bottom of the ramp you had a little lip So you have to be careful with it where it goes from the wood to the concrete. You'll see how the chair drops off but uh, yeah, you just go down this hallway here and it takes you to uh, basically a little sitting area. Everybody comes out there and sits and, you know, enjoys the beach, the weather. And to the left is uh, my room. You can also see the pier in the background, so you're not very far from the pier. Also, they had uh, checkers and uh, chess out there. You can play those. So kids enjoy playing those and some of the adults also. And you just go through this next hallway and it takes you to the pool. And the pool is nice. It, uh, I didn't get in it, but as you can see behind me, it has a chair that you can transfer over into and push you into the water. And I believe the water was three foot there. And you can just, where the chair is at, you can just wade around, swim, whatever you need to do. But as a, you know, the pool stayed uh, busy pretty much the whole time I was there. This is uh, earlier in the morning, and this is recorded. But that's the whole motel, and you can swing around, you can see the, the pier and the beach. And with it being, this was on a Sunday morning, so they were just setting up the, the little umbrellas down there for people to go rent. But the pier there, as you can see, is behind me. It was probably about a quarter mile from me. And uh, I want to say it was $3.50 per person uh, to go on the pier and $7 if you were going to fish. But the pier was a pretty good size and I enjoyed it. And as you can see, I'm coming back up this ramp here and it's pretty steep. Like I said, if you're in a manual chair, it may give you a little bit of a exercise but uh, this was our room and the motel area we stayed at, the Chateau. It's by the Best Western. And uh, all the staff there was 
very accommodating. They anything I needed, they would ask me, and I would uh, you know, they would come and help me do anything. And even my parking, they uh, made sure to put cones down when I left. That way, nobody would park in my parking spot because they knew I had to ramp. So I enjoyed all the staff there. They were really nice to me. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for a room that's wheelchair accessible, even for a Hoyer left, uh, check out the Chateau Beachfront uh, Resort. And uh, like I said, price is good. It's uh, not a five-star motel, but it's nice. And, and uh, if you're in a wheelchair, it gets you what you need. But uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, if I ever get a next travel, I'll record it and do a little bit better job. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.